Hey guys, James Reeves, TFB TV, SHOT Show 2024 here on the show floor. First day, first floor day here at SHOT Show. I'm with my good buddy Mike Humphreys. We're at the Springfield Armory booth. Springfield Armory, known for a lot of things, and actually you've been expanding admirably. I, of course, love the Hellion, the VHS 2, but your bread and butter, really, I think has always been 1911s. Is that a, a fair statement? Yeah, I think that's, I mean, Springfield Armory is just about to hit 50 years old. The company started with the M1A and then very quickly moved into 1911s and established a name for itself with 1911s. That's what people associate their brand with a lot. And I mean, and what we're going to be talking about here in a minute is part of that history. Yeah, sure. So my inbox gets lit up, you know, the SHOT Show, press releases, all that stuff. And I'm like, oh, damn, you guys are releasing like four or five new 1911s for 2024, right? We are. We are. Yeah, we've, we're at the TRP booth right here. First of all, what is a TRP? All right, so the TRP is a tactical response pistol. Now, the TRP is based off of, and it, it's been around since the 90s. It's one of the most iconic 1911s in our line. It's based off of the professional that the Springfield Armory made for the FBI back in the 90s. It was as compared to that being a full custom gun, the TRP was designed to be a semi-custom gun for the regular consumer with a lot of the features that that professional model had. And it's been a significant part of our line for a very long time. So these new ones, what am I getting? So basically what we wanted to do was, is as I mentioned, the TRP has been around since the 90s. We thought it was time to step back, take a look at it, give the, the line a refresh and introduce a bunch of new models. And what we did is we introduced six full new models, some that are an homage to the original, some that are radically different than the original. Well, I guess let's tackle it right to left, left to right. I don't care. Walk me through, Mike. What do we have? All right. Sounds good. So we have four of the six that are available here. I'm going to describe the two that we don't have here. The first are the classic models that are the most like the original TRP. Those are both steel, all steel guns. One is a five inch and interestingly, the other is a four and a quarter inch, which is very unique within the TRP line. Those guns have the two piece mag well, all the things that you'd expect from TRP with a lot of new upgrades like serrated siding plane. It has standard uh, tritium three dot sights. It has VZ grips, Hydra G10 grips, a lot of nice features on it. And all the TRPs are, I mentioned earlier, like semi custom. They are hand selected for frame to slide fit at the very start. Then we marry those two parts and those slide and frames stay together through the entire manufacturing process. They're numbered, held together. So those guns are very tight, very well put together. Now, I mentioned the uh, classic models. In addition to the classic models, we have two rail models. We have them in black and coyote brown. It, these are all steel, five inch guns. They have a rail on them. It's basically a tactical model of the pistol. So it has all those upgrades that I mentioned, has the things you expect, 20 line per inch check ring on the front strap. If you know a TRP, this is it, just with some newer, cooler upgrades. And the last thing that we have, and this is the one that's catching, frankly, the most interest is what I've noticed, are the CC models. These two right here? Carry contour oh. models. As soon as you picked it up, yeah, you can tell, yeah, couldn't yeah, yeah, you? Yeah, it's a little bit different. Yeah. yeah, so this is the most distinctly new TRP variant. You basically have a carry model. We have an aluminum frame on it, so it's a lightweight. We have the carry contour cut on the butt of the grip to make it more concealed. Otherwise, And we have a four and a quarter inch barrel on it. So you have a compact, light, and easy to carry TRP with all the things that make the TRP great. Are these all single stack guns? They are, and all 45. I was just about to ask. Yep. Uh, what's your personal opinion on 45 versus nine millimeter, Mike? Nine millimeter is extremely popular in the 1911 community. Yep. I'm a 45 fan. If I'm going to carry a single stack gun and it's going to be a 1911, I like the 45. But there is clearly a market for nine millimeters. I would stay tuned on that in this line, but it made a lot of sense out of the gate for this to be a 45 gun. The professional model was a 45, the TRP was a 45, and expand beyond that, these are 45s. How much do these run? So it's $18.99 MSRP for the two classic models, and then the railed models and the CC models that you see here are, eight, are I'm sorry, $19.99 MSRP. That's very expensive. And you and I both know that high-end 1911s can easily reach or exceed that price level, but not necessarily everyone watching this video knows that. So explain to me if I'm thinking, hey, why shouldn't I buy, like, you know, we won't name any names because it's a shot show and you don't want to be politically correct. XYZ brand of 1911 that costs like seven or 800 bucks. Like, why would I not buy two of those versus getting something like this? And that's, that's an interesting question. And to be honest, you know, we weren't going to mention other names. We can mention the Springfield name. We offer 1911s in the $700 range, $900 range. We have, offer a breadth for any type of consumer. 
This gun is how, what I would describe as a semi-custom gun. You're basically getting a, a near custom gun that's still within the realm of production costs. It's treated like a production gun with custom features. If you were to kit this gun out yourself, you could go out and you could buy a $900 base gun, but I think you'd come out higher in price once you had all this work done on it than what we're charging for here. Is it safe to say the message here then is that because of the volume that you guys turn out and because of the capability that you have in terms of manufacturing, I'm getting a, really a better deal uh, for my dollar, my $2,000, to get something like this versus trying to customize something myself. Yes, and that is exactly the way that we view it. Springfield's been building 1911s for a long time. We have the artisans with the skill set to build those. We know how to build them, and these get the extra additional hands-on attention, like I mentioned, the matching the frame to the slide, the hand fitting, a lot of that work. You're not going to get that for $900, but you would, you're usually not going to get that at this price point either. So you're, Springfield produces at such a large number and acquires parts in such large numbers, we can keep the cost down and pass that on to the customer. Mike, you're always a professional. It's an honor to have you on the program. Thanks for speaking with us about the new TRP series. Guys, stay tuned. We're bringing you more from SHOT Show 2024.